So guys, it has been one of those mornings where everything seems to be more difficult than it should be. Um, I've been trying to cut my cedar posts for my table and countertop legs this morning. Um, obviously my little pole saw is not really meant for that, so I don't really like using it on thicker logs like that. I've kind of already worn it out quite a bit. So um, we had these old, two old chainsaws. One was a still and one was a Husqvarna. And I've been working on them all morning and they will not start. And one of them just got back from the service shop. They said they fixed it, it got a brand new carburetor and it's not fixed, so that's great. But guess what, it's not gonna stop me going up there and I'm going to hand saw these legs from the cedar. So whatever, you know what, if it takes me longer, that's fine, but at least I'm getting it done. So I'll see you guys up there. Perseverance. So while I'm up here, I figured at the workshop, I figured I'd give you guys an update. The electric line is connected. So I have water, electricity, heat, everything. I'm not gonna show you guys inside yet. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get to cutting these red cedar posts. I'm not sure exactly how many legs I'm gonna be able to get out of these. I think I'm gonna need two, two posts for the um, sink countertop and then at least three for the longer countertop. So, sweet. Now I'm just gonna get to sawing, and then I got a ton of work to do today in the shed, outside. So I need to get to work. This morning really held me up with all that, but keep on trucking, guys. Gotta get it done. All right, guys, I got my posts cut. Um, I'm moving on to something else. I'm still trying to finish all of the walls in here. It's taking forever. Plan and my goal is to finish today. So I'm doing a little lipstick trick. There are some pipes coming out of the wall that I need to cut holes for. So those are my pipes. I got a spigot down there and the uh, hot and cold water line. So on this board, I need to find out exactly where to mark. So, line it up perfectly in the corner there. Always have some lipstick handy. I did it! Yes! That is such a cool trick. Um, I'll give credit where credit is due. I did read that on one of my comments on YouTube, so thank you for the suggestion. I love you guys, and that's awesome. I'm so excited. Woo! Just got a few more panels to go. This is already up. Looking good. Looking good. This is a game changer, like. I cannot believe I have not been using one of these sooner. Thank you so much, Tonus, for sending me this. If you guys wanna check him out, he said he had a YouTube channel, um, Tonus in the shop. So thank you so much, Tonus. This is 
so awesome. I absolutely love, 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 love this impact driver with the magnetic tip. Oh, it makes life so much easier. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning. It's sunny, which is great, but it's cold again. <laughs> um, last night, the wood stoves were giving us a hard time. And it was pretty cold, so I ended up sleeping in a while because it was so warm under the blankets. Yeah, I just did not feel like getting up this morning. It was so warm under the covers. And it was freezing in the room once the wood stove went out. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty day today. It's a little windy, gusty, um, but the sun is out and it's not too bad. But time is running out before some bad weather comes, some more rain and snow for like a few days straight, which means it's going to be hard to get up to the workshop without making more mud ruts and stuff like that. Things are finally starting to dry out. So, um, today, that is my primary focus, is getting the workshop as close to finished as possible, just like the core stuff. There's Frankie. Oh, Frankie, last night, also kept me awake. He, he was trying to get out of the bedroom, and the problem with that is when he leaves, then he comes back like an hour later and scratches to open the door, and you either have to get up or he opens it and then lets all the cold air in. Um, so, yeah, it's... Oh, last night he broke a lamp. Knocked over the lamp that was um, sitting by the window and it shattered all over the floor. So I had to clean that up in the middle of the night. Such a brat. But anyway, um, we did have some people out here yesterday kind of discussing the bathroom situation. So... We're going to get someone out here to uh, kind of do the foundation work on that. And then the other guy can make it out, I think, in like two two to three weeks. So um, the bathroom is like in reach, but it's not, it's not happening yet. <laughs> Today's focus is, like I said, getting up to the workshop. I've got just a few more panels to put on the walls and the ceiling. And then that will be all done. And then I can install my countertops, which are over here. My countertops. Um, I also need to do some tile work. And once I get all that squared away, though, I cannot wait to, like, decorate it and just make it, like, really cute and rustic and the fun stuff. So, yeah, today I would love to finish the hard painstaking work of the paneling i'm going to be putting actual like wall stuff on top of it i think i'm going to use as long as as long as um as long as these boards are not um rotten from like termites and stuff then i'm probably then i'm probably going to use those to make some like accent wall pieces and I am trying to find, if you guys know where I could find this, um, some tin tiles. I don't really care if they are faux, but I would rather them be real. But they're so expensive because everyone likes them right now for some reason. I think it's a trend. It's kind of been a trend for a while to use like the old farmhouse style stuff. So, but I'm obsessed with the tin um, ceiling look, whether it's real or fake. But, like, at Lowe's, I think a square 10 tile is $20. So, if I was to do my ceiling in that, that would be very expensive. So, if you guys know of any, like, salvage shops or um, maybe you guys have some leftover 10, I don't know. But um, any suggestions would be helpful. Uh, what else? Um, I did cut those posts for the legs out of the red cedar and um i was gonna do 33 inch but i ended up doing 36 inches so um the counters are gonna be a little bit higher which i think is fine yeah i'm just gonna get to work and i will bring you guys along with me hopefully i can wake up soon <laughs>
sorry guys i'm getting an even later start than i was talking about this morning because i was hungry and i had to make some pasta salad and then um oh yeah i polyur polyurethane i don't know if that's how you say that but that's how i say it polyurethane um my countertops again to get them really nice and glossy i'm gonna get on in there and get to work i got a lot of work to do hey right, buddy are you looking for this all right all right guys when i tell you the workshop is a complete disaster right now it really really is but it's a beautiful mess in a way because things are really starting to come together i've got just like a few more areas to um to put the walls up the project board on Ugh. and then i can get to working on some real things that will make it look really cool but step one right here now that i have electricity you can see a light right there i've also got one up there so i have electricity in here which means i can have lights i can plug in power tools and i can stay warm got a little heater here i'm gonna plug it in get this little thing all toasty in here and then get to work. I really hope this goes smoothly today. So I'm so tired of these boards, like putting up the walls is just the most time consuming, painstaking task of it all. But I know once I finish, it's gonna kind of like spark another creative boost inside of me that I need. Because, I don't know, it's been a tough journey so far. Come here.
am so close to being done with the paneling inside the workshop. I know it doesn't look very pretty right now, it's kind of sloppy, but that's okay because most of it's going to be covered with some accent wall pieces, and I have a few other ideas up my sleeve. Just trust the process, guys. I can't wait to show you what I installed in the workshop next. Got anything to say to the camera? All done. <laughs> This is my finger toes. This one got burned out. And a splinter. So this is my latest thumb I was using to wipe. So, done. Caulking is done on the ceiling, folks. Wow. Well, that's good enough. Uh, oh. Hopefully, we have some camo stuff on, see? And I'll just hunt her down right under this shit. Looks good. Don't tell what I'm doing. 